What's going on, family? So there has been some something going on, right, with Instagram, and people are saying stuff about TikTok, neither here nor there. Today, we're going to dive into a platform that you need to start investing more time in in 2024, okay? This platform is going to elevate your own personal brand. This platform is also going to provide you a way to connect people that you never had a way to reach before. But anyway, on this episode of Beyond the Ball, we're going to give you some real-time professional development that's going to elevate you for the long term, all right? Not just a short, quick reel or a quick whatever, right? We're going to get you right. So tap in. What's going on, family? What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. And this is the platform where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. And I was I was doing an interview yesterday with uh, one of my good friends. His name is uh, Marcus D. Gilmore. And we began to just talk about our experience on this particular platform. And if you haven't guessed the platform just yet, of course, it's not Instagram. It's not Snapchat. It's not TikTok. But this particular platform is LinkedIn. All right. It's LinkedIn. And the reason why I want to talk about LinkedIn is because you, uh, wherever you are in your journey, right, the fact of the matter is if you aren't getting active on LinkedIn, then you are leaving money on the table, okay? You're leaving money on the table by not being able to connect with the right people, not knowing who to connect with. So now the question becomes, well, what do I need to know about LinkedIn and what do I need to do? So we're going to go ahead and dive in and I'm just going to break this thing down bit by bit, piece by piece. And if it sounds like I'm over explaining things, I probably am because this is a podcast episode. So I want to paint the picture uh, the best that I can, although you're going to want to watch this on video as well to follow as I do what I do and I teach what I teach. OK, so let, let's go ahead and get under the hood here. So now we are on uh, the main LinkedIn homepage, right? On the left-hand side, you can see, you know, this image of me right here. And then uh, just below, you see it says, I help people start podcasts, right? This is what we call our purpose statement on LinkedIn. And we want to have a purpose statement. And depending on where you are, if you're, you know, a college student, then you're going to want to put, you know, what, what you're currently focused on doing, right? What is your current purpose that you're striving towards during this time, right? So now I'm going to go over to my name on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to click it. So now what we have, right? Now this is our full profile, full profile. And as I am hovering over about uh, inch down from the top of the screen, this is where we have the opportunity to where we can change our header image, okay? And we want to change our header image because there's going to be three things to focus on this episode, and um, we're just going to do a series. So I'm going to do three things this episode, do three things the next episode, but this is part one of leveling up your LinkedIn, okay? And here, we're going to want to put an image that shows something about us, right? I created this in Canva and you see I have one of me speaking, well, two of me speaking, another of me talking and connecting with the student. Why do I have those things? I have those because I want the person who sees my profile, sees me speaking to students, and then they're gonna as associate those images with a level of authority. Right. And especially if I'm reaching out to those people who are individuals who bring in speakers, I want them to see me as an authority and I want them to see me speaking, because if you don't see somebody speaking, you're not going to assume that they're a speaker. OK, so there's that up top. And then as we scroll down just a little bit, now we have to the left hand side. Now we have here we have our avatar image this is where you want to have a professional headshot right this isn't a, a spot where you want to um post of you getting a tattoo somewhere or you 
holding your wife or your girlfriend or your spouse or your boyfriend's hand. That's not what we want right here. This area is just for your professional headshot and you want it to be warm. You want it to be you smiling. You want it to be telling people that it's okay to connect with you on LinkedIn. It's okay for them to send you a message, okay? So uh, up top, this is the part where this is the first impression of your LinkedIn, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull up somebody else's um, profile just so you can see what it would look like if we're not connected just yet. And connected is the term that LinkedIn uses because it's not necessary. Well, even though they do have the option to follow people to where you can like, you know, look at their content and see their posts. But connected is a mutual acceptance, right? So I would have to send a connection and somebody would have to accept it for then me be able to message them. If they don't accept my connection, then I won't be able to message them, right? You can you can send a message yeah you you okay so we'll keep it simple okay so now let me pull up somebody i don't know let's type in um uh, I, 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 i'll pull up i'll pull up barstool sports right because if you know anything about me and about uh what we do here at speaker success media we like media companies okay so now we search barstool sports and let's say that I wanted to see how I can get in contact with somebody at Barstool Sports. So the first thing we can do is uh, in the middle, well, first we search Barstool Sports up at the top left-hand side in that search bar, right? And then if we go down just under that, it says on this page, and it says Barstool Sports Newsletter, their post, it says companies, and then it says people. For the sake of this search, we're going to click people. And what does that now show us? Now it has brought us down to where there are people that have mentioned Barstool Sports within their current roles or previous roles, right? So the first lady right here, it says Taylor Dickinson, director of live events at Barstool Sports. And you see it has this button to where I can hit and it says connect, but we're not going to hit that. I'm going to click on Taylor Dickinson's profile. So I click on her profile and one thing I would change on her profile would first be the fact that she has nothing behind her for a header image. And for her, she, and this is an assumption, but she may or may not spend much time on the platform. So therefore she might've not known that and she might've not wanted to add an image who knows, right? We're just going to say that there. But as I'm looking at her profile, what do I get to see? I see nothing in the header image. So I, I can't really get a grasp for her personality based on what that image is. And then we can scroll down a little bit more. What's going on, ballers? You might be listening to this audio version of the podcast, or you might be watching even the video version of the podcast, and you're probably thinking, well, what would it take for John to come to our campus? What would it take for John to come to our school and to teach our students media training, to talk about podcasting, and even the whole world of media? Well, luckily for you, all you have to do, friend, is just click the link just down below in the show notes where it says, book John to speak, all right? And then we can go right there. We can set up time to have a conversation. And I would love to learn more about you. Love to learn more about your student athletes and how we can serve and support them at a high level. OK, so just hit the link just down below. And we look forward to having a conversation with you. And her purpose statement is that she's a director of live events at Barstool Sports, which is fine if you work for a company. But if you're wanting to begin to brand yourself, you're going to want to put a purpose statement that is wrapped in what your goal currently is right so for me i help people start podcasts i want people to see my profile and say oh he helps people start podcasts that's what i want people to see so that's what i have there okay and then we can scroll down and then typically uh right around this middle section we would begin to see more of a breakdown or description uh, about her like a little blurb and we're not seeing it here so i'm going to i'm going to go back 
and then I'm going to see if the next person at Barstool has uh, has that. So we're going to go to the left-hand side, hit people again, and then we're going to hit this person right here in the middle, Mr. Grant C. And there we go. There we go. So as we see for his profile, check this out. Okay, so at the top, his header is the skyline of Dallas which nothing is wrong. If that's what you want to use, by all means, that's what you use. I would suggest you put some pictures of you up there because it's your profile. And then if you want people to be able to contact you, I would suggest you put your contact information, okay? Then we go down and in the middle, this is the about section. And let's check this out. Hello, my name is Grant C. I'm a graduate from the College of Media and Communications at Texas Tech. I've been able, I've been in several leadership roles, my young life, my best, uh, my young life and have always done my best with everything I pursued. I played on Texas Tech football team and have been able to positively affect my local community due to this great opportunity. I'm hardworking, dedicated, easy to work with and a person that will always get the job done. When I look at this about section, the first thing that I think of just in terms of this about section I feel that this is almost like a cover letter to a resume, but not as buttoned up, right? So you're giving people a snippet about you so that they can read this and they can learn a little bit about you. And then they might make the decision to connect with you or they might make the decision to reach out. But either way, you know, that this is the spot to where it allows people to get a feel for you and what you do. Okay. So. This is what I wanted to really break down today. Just the more so top of this LinkedIn. And I wanted to break these things down because as we're going through this LinkedIn leverage training, I want you to understand a few things. I want you to first and foremost understand that. I want you to first and foremost understand that as we're going through this, I want you to make these tweaks and make these changes to your profile, right? Even if you're, you know, where, wherever you are in your journey, right? If, if you currently have a job or maybe you're looking for a job or whatever it might be, this can apply to student athletes. It can apply to coaches. This can apply to consultants. We need to be active on LinkedIn if we're in the entrepreneurship space, period. If we're in the professional space, period. I'm going all in on LinkedIn. So today, like what we broke down, uh, we broke down the uh, cover image, right? So putting a cover image at the top that shows your personality, that shows a little bit more about you and just giving people a feel for you in the day to day. Then we also talked about the purpose image, right? I mean, the purpose statement. That's the second part, the purpose statement within your LinkedIn. And um, the reason why I wanted to talk about that is because when you have a purpose statement, this allows people to read and see what you're currently passionate about and interested in. And then the third thing I talked about, and I'm going to put these two together. The third thing is that about me section, right? That about me section. And we want to make sure that we that we give a little bit about yourself. Let people get to know you. Allow yourself to share what you're currently interested in. Allow yourself to share some of your accolades. These are essential. And the reason why these are so essential is because if we don't share our accolades and what we've done, how will people know? They won't. They won't. They won't. All right. So, family, we're going to wrap this episode up. This has been a... Uh, another episode of Beyond the Ball. And this is the platform where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Okay, today we talked about LinkedIn. This was our LinkedIn leveling up session one. Okay, LinkedIn level up session one. Because I want you to have this information to begin to go through, begin to break down, begin to decipher what you need to do to be able to get your brand not only a little bit more exposure, but position you for you know, the next job, the next career, the next interest, your next mentor, whatever it might be. Okay. So until next time, I'm Jonathan Jones. Peace and God bless. Peace.